everything is ready 220724 introduction to compiler so i'm starting now so as i mentioned to you in the last class as i mentioned to you in the last class can you see this one compiler is a software compiler is a software when you say software it is a program compiler is a software so it is a program so and one more thing is it's not only a program it's a very big program it is a very big program so there are so many functions so many functions are there many functions are there so as i mentioned to you functions right functions also i written so let me write now lexical analyzer is the one function syntax analyzer is the one more function semantic analyzer is the one more function intermediate code generator is the one more function code optimization is the one more function target code generator is the one more function So this is the compiler. Input is high level language. Output low level language. And uh, while doing this at anywhere, if you have any problem, while doing this at anywhere, if you have any problem, you can contact error controller. Next one. Well, whenever the story going on, whenever the story going on, at anywhere if you want to store, at anywhere if you want to store, you can store in symbol table. You can store in symbol table. This is what we discussed in the last class. Right? Topic is uh, introduction to compiler. Topic is introduction to compiler. That is the topic name. Introduction to compiler is the topic name. Right? So, compiler is a software which is a big program. When you say big program, many functions are there. So, these are the function name. Lexical analyzer, syntax analyzer, semantic analyzer, intermediate code generator, code optimization, target code generator. Anywhere, any problem, contact and error control. At anywhere, if you want to store anything, store in symbol type. Now, now my first question to everyone. Now my first question to everyone, please give answer. Now my first question to everyone, please give answer to me. Who can store inside symbol table? My first question to everyone, please give answer. Who can store inside symbol table? Who can store inside symbol table? Lexical, syntax, semantic, intermediate code generation, code optimization, target code generator. Who can store? Make it fast. Who can store inside symbol table? These are also called as these are also called as programming terminology. These are called functions. Programming terminology, these are called functions. In the compiler terminology, these are called as phases of compiler. These are also called phases of compiler. Phases of compiler are functions which are there inside a compiler. Phases of compiler. So can you help me you know who can store inside symbol table? So remember, remember everyone, remember everyone who can store is anyone. Whether they will store or not, it is a different story. Anyone can store. If at all all there, select the all option. If at all, all they select all option because everyone having right, whether they will do or not, it is a different story. Next one, who can who can right who can inform the error handler? Anyone. Everyone having right. Everyone having right. In this classroom, in this classroom, who can ask the doubts? In this classroom, who can ask the doubts? Everyone. Some students may not ask. Some students may not ask, but everyone having right. 
who can ask the doubt is everyone so see the direction also see the direction see uh, everyone going to symbol table everyone going to the error handler whether they will do or not it is a different story right they have right the everyone having right everyone having right whether they will store or not it is a different story but everyone having right if at all all option there select all all option there select all right okay okay you are little bit comfortable now let's see how exactly going on inside how exactly going on inside let's see that let's see how exactly going on inside everyone everyone see how exactly going on let's take one example let's take one example and we'll check here right right on now today's class this is the major one today's class this is the major one x is equal to x is equal to y plus z star 60 some number y x is equal to y plus z star 60 right and one more before actually it is not required i am just only for namesake i am writing float x comma y comma z declaration also there float x comma y comma z x is equal to y plus z star 60 x is equal to y plus z star 60 right before going to use any variable you have to declare i declare before going to use any variable i have to declare i declare but my goal is only this statement my goal is only second statement not first statement my goal is only second statement not first statement now now listen everyone everyone listen so before going further i i want to ask you please help me what is the x data type please let me know what is the x data type It is a sequence number. It is a variable name. It is a variable type. I want answer from everyone. What is the X type? What is the Y type? What is the Z type? I want everyone. Everyone respond. What is the X type? What is the Y type? What is the Z type? Everyone know. Everyone know. Please respond. Any doubt there, you can ask me. Any doubt there, you can ask me, right? X type, Y type, Z type. I think everyone know X type is float. How you know? Because of declaration. Because of declaration only, I got to know X type is float. Y type is float. Z type is float. Because of declaration only, I got to know. Now, can anyone help me? If declaration not there, can you say what the X type? If declaration not there, I cannot say what the X type. If declaration not there, I cannot say what the Y type. If declaration not there, I cannot say what is the Z type. Right? So, these are all the people types I got to know because of declaration only. So, because of declaration, listen, because of declaration, I got to know X type is float. So, see this one, everyone? One, variable is X, type is float. Two, serial number two, variable name is Y, type is float. Next one, variable name is, variable name is Z, type is float. Type is float like this. Now some people are asking, sir, what is the name of these tables are symbol table? Symbol table. This is called symbol table. Now one more thing I want to ask you. One more thing I want to ask you. Can anyone help you know? Symbol table came. Sim symbol table came because of declaration or not? Symbol table came because of declaration or not. If declaration is not there, how I know X type is float? <clears throat> if symbol table is, sorry, if declaration is not there, how I know Y type is float? If symbol table is not there, how I know Z type is float? Because of declaration only the symbol table is came. You only say symbol table not there. Sorry, you only say declaration not there. Right? What I will store inside the symbol table? So remember, remember everyone. From today onwards, remember everyone. In the symbol table, if you observe, X type float, Y type float. From where it came? From declaration. If declaration is not there, from where I know X is a float? Because of declaration only, that symbol table story came. Now, one more important thing I want to say to everyone. Everyone remember. One more important thing I want to say everyone. Everyone remember. 
symbol table contain variable names symbol table contain variable names symbol table contain function names symbol table stores variable name symbol table store function name user defined variable user defined functions which are known as identifier user defined right user defined variables user defined functions these are known as identifiers these are known as identifiers remember symbol table stores identifiers symbol table stores identifiers from today onwards if anyone asks you symbol table stores what identifier what are the identifier user defined variables user defined functions those are known as identifier they will be there in the symbol table now one small question i want to ask you one small question i want to ask you every one lesson every one lesson in the program in the program user can give the variable name whatever he want or not whenever whenever i am writing a program user can write the variable name whatever he like user can write the function name whatever he like whatever a variable name you want he can write in the program whatever function name you want he can write the reason is the reason is there is no fixed thing any variable name you can write any function name you can write because of anything he is writing so definitely there should be one place where they will store because when you write blindly something there should be some management if that management is not there it is a serious issue because these are not predefined names these are the user defined names right the person who written the programming language is given lot of right he is given the flexibility to the user you select whatever name you like we will take care the person who written the this programming language he said that whatever variable name you want you can take whatever function name you want you can take because we will take care you take whatever you want we will take care how they are taking care they are taking care in the symbol table the inventor of this programming language saying that you take any variable name you take any function name because who will take care right you no need to bother you want to take any variable you want to take variable name as x you take you want to take variable name as x y z variable name you take i will, we will take care now it is a correct time to ask you listen it is a correct time to ask you it is a correct time to ask you everyone listen it is a correct time to ask you user can take user can take whatever keyword you want or not i want answer from you i want answer from everyone user can take user can take whatever keyword he like no keywords are predefined those only you can take keywords are predefined i can take see pre, pre, keywords are predefined those only i can take so can i take the keyword if yes can i take the keyword return yes can i take the keyword int yes so i cannot take whatever keyword i like whatever is available out of them i can select but variable name you can select whatever you want whatever you feel you can write i can take variable name as hidden i can take variable name as shakir i can take variable name as neha neha i can take variable name as akanksha neha i can take variable name as manish i am saying one more thing i can take variable name go to hell i can take variable name go to hell i can take variable name god is seeing from top you can take whatever you want but keywords you cannot take whatever you want now last question i want to ask you variable names are fixed or not no user right next one function names are fixed or not no so can i take whatever i want yes then where they will be managed in the symbol table next one can i take whatever keywords i want no keywords are fixed can i take whatever operators i want no operators also fixed operators also fixed what i want to say is keywords are fixed next one operators are fixed boolean operators are fixed relational operators are fixed arithmetic operations are fixed logical operators are fixed what i mean to say is except variable name function name everything is fixed so symbol table contain 
user defined variable user defined function the things which are given by user they will store in the symbol table some people are asking sir where the because of operators are fixed do operators are fixed do keywords are fixed do sir where they will store sir they will store in they will store in if it is a c language turbo c compiler inside compiler it will store inside compiler they will store you want to say compiler is a software when you say software it will store in some database in in that database in that database all the operators will store all the keywords will store are you getting when you say when you say turbo c compiler is installed when you say compiler is installed what is the meaning of compiler installed compiler is a software software is installed means indirectly that software is saying to your computer these operators only allowed these keywords only allowed remember remember compiler is nothing but some conditions compiler is nothing but some rules one rule is saying that these operators only how to use compiler is nothing but set of rules compiler is nothing but set of rules those rules are saying that these operators only you have to allow these keywords only you have to allow some rules are there so one of the rule is these operators only one of the rule is these keywords only but in terms of the variable name you can select whatever you want in terms of the function name whatever you want you can select so last question i want to ask someone is saying but float is a keyword of course float is a keyword right so you can say it is a keyword it is a data type also mm -hmm. keyword you can say data type also all predefined things are keywords right so in that some special category in that if is a keyword if is a keyword return is a keyword break is a keyword continue is a keyword main is a keyword print is a keyword some predefined things user defined variable user defined function they will store in symbol table next one plus is a operator star is a operator next one next one next one right so one more thing is r operator bitwise and operator they are operators they are operators right fine so and one more thing is float is a data type you can say keyword also they are data types right actually actually int is a data type actually int is a data type if you want you can say keyword also but when you are studying in the c language when you are studying in the c language you will study data types that is also keyword kind of thing but separate thing so that that is going to be what the answer data types data types if is a keyword star is a operator so like that okay fine okay whatever you got it's okay last question everyone everyone comment in the comment section everyone comment in the comment section what will store in symbol table comment make it fast what will store in symbol table everyone what will store in symbol table everyone make it fast identifier what is the meaning of identifier type that also what is the meaning of identifier symbol table contain identifiers i am very happy what are the identifiers user defined variable user defined function user defined variable user defined functions identification purpose identification purpose only names user defined variable name user defined function name identification purpose only identification purpose only next one next one can you help me now can you help me now operators will store inside symbol table no then where they will store they will store inside compiler compiler is a set of rules compiler is a set of rules one of the rule is these operators only one of the rule is these keywords only one of the rule is these operators only one of the rule is these keywords only right so please be careful right see the things which are not there in the symbol table they will be there they will be there inside compiler that is the meaning of compiler compiler is installed 
in my computer compiler is installed indirectly indirectly your compiler is saying to your computer these operators only allowed these keywords only allowed something like that okay fine that's okay that's okay now now listen now listen everyone everyone listen everyone listen careful careful everyone listen so because of this declaration i'm saying clearly because of this declaration this table came because of this declaration this table came right because of this declaration this table came try to understand right this declaration only this table came right now you may say that sir who stored who stored remember 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 everyone right so afterwards i will confirm afterwards i will confirm afterwards i will confirm because of this declaration only this table came who stored it who stored it right i am i am saying now semantic analyzer semantic analyzer who stored it semantic analyzer afterwards i will say why afterwards i will say why but one thing i want to say to you everyone can store inside listen every phase of the compiler can store inside a symbol table depending upon their requirement they will store depending upon their requirement they will take everyone can store right i can guess uh, because of a lot of experience i have so i can guess right by seeing the declaration semantic analyzer will store in symbol table you got to know you got to know x is a float y is a float y is storing afterwards i will say that also by seeing the declaration semantic analyzer will store the right the total information whatever there in the declaration inside symbol table but remember this is not our goal our goal is this line only now i am starting everyone listen now i am starting from now onwards careful remember this this also remember semantic analyzer stored this data stored this by seeing this declaration semantic analyzer stored inside the table remember it whenever correct time i will ask you at that time you have to give answer now come back now see this one this is our major line this is our major line so this particular line if i give to compiler what will happen let me check our goal is only this line not first line second line only our goals remember remember everyone this is the right this is the input to first phase of the compiler which is a lexical analyzer this is the input to first phase of the compiler which is the lexical analyzer which is the lexical analyzer the statement will be given as input to the lexical analyzer because it is the first phase of the compiler is the first phase someone is saying that sir does this mean that if some if if some invalid variable name is kept by user then it is checked by semantic analyzer or semantic analyzer you will see anyhow that aditya you will see anyhow right you will see anyhow don't ask me it will disturb the other people don't ask anything right at the end you will get the clarity at the end you will get the clarity if i say now some confusions will come concentrate here so x is equal to y plus z star 60 this will go as input to the lexical analyzer is the first phase of the compiler lexical analyzer is the first phase of the compiler try to remember try to remember you cannot expect grade things from the first phase from the first phase of the compiler you cannot expect grade things so what i what i mean to say is, is the first phase maximum introduction will be done first phase of the compiler cannot do everything you will do most probably introduction what is the introduction see this one listen everyone now lexical analyzer will ask the x lexical analyzer will ask the x hello hello x can you introduce hello x can you introduce right x will say listen x will say x will say i am a identifier remember lexical analyzer purpose is some introduction right everyone will introduce like this so x is a identifier you will say x is a identifier lexical analyzer is asking every person can you can you can you right can you right introduce yourself lexical analyzer asking every person can you introduce yourself x is saying that hello lexical analyzer my name is x i am a identifier then immediately lexical analyzer will say that if at all if at all you are identifier you should be there in the symbol table 
lexical analogy is asking the x so hello x so can you introduce yourself x is saying that hello lexical analyzer my name is x so i am your identifier immediately lexical analyzer will say that if at all you are identifier you should be there in the symbol table so he will verify he will verify in the symbol table which row is available first row he will verify second row third row like that he will check until he will find out he find out in the first row itself yeah so lexical analyzer will inform to x saying that hello x you said that you are identifier you should be there in the symbol table i verified also you are there in the symbol table first row then he will say that yeah from now onwards if anyone ask hello x so if anyone ask you from now onwards my request to you is please give this token number this is the token number this is your token from now onwards if anyone ask you please give this token number the purpose of this token number is x is a identifier it is there in the symbol table first row x is a identifier it is there in the symbol table first row if anyone ask you from now onwards hello x what are you who are you so don't say don't say i am this i am that just give this token number they will get to know just give this token number you will get to know that right fine so it, it is something like this you went to the one of the hotel to eat the food you went to one of the hotel so you went to the ticket counter right you paid the bill also they given one token whenever you have token you no need to introduce yourself just give token number if token is not there they will ask you right what you are going to eat right so how much you are going to eat you like this or not you like that or not some discussion when you have a token number just show token number inside that particular right in, inside that particular hotel automatically they will get to know oh oh is the is this is that they will get the clarity so x is identifier its token number is id comma 1 next one after x equal is coming can any one help can any one help can any one help c compiler knows about all c language operators or not c compiler knows about c language all operators or not make it fast c compiler knows about all c language operators or not because of you knows he because of right c c compiler knows about all c language operators every compiler knows what operators it is having that there is some right it, whenever it is came he got to know that it is a operator which operator it is assignment operator yes so you will you got to know it is the assignment operator it is a assignment operator and one more thing is one more thing is because of this person known to everyone in the compiler everyone knows this person because in the compiler database itself right all the operators are allowed because of he is known to everyone no need to give token always remember only new people token is given only new people token is given for every person no need to give token new people only token for every person no need to give token so if you want you can if if you want you can check one time if you want you can check one time right inside your house there is no token to mamma saying that i am mamma i am shakir mamma i am neha mamma i am reddy sir mamma like that no tokens are there known people no need to have token unknown people only token variable name user can take whatever he want any name you can take so for user defined variable user defined function token name is required token number required for the known things no need to give token number what is the requirement of so papa having token i am ready sir papa i am ready sir papa i am i am hidden papa i am vipul papa what is the need of this known people no need of token so in the vipul house in the vipul house vipul mama saying that i am vipul mama right vipul vipul papa is having the token i am vipul papa vipul is saying that i am i am my mama papa's son i am my mama papa's son so like the what is the total family tokens or what total family tokens are vipul don't you have common sense total family tokens kya yaar everyone everyone In, in in the vipul house is is chota brother if chota brother is having the token saying that i am chota brother of vipul 
I am Chota, brother of people. Why are total family tokens? Don't you think it, it is so bored? It is a nonsense. So only for unknown people. So one student asking in one of the class, one student asking in one of the class, ready, sir, you given token to X. You given the token number to Y also. Why don't you give to assignment operator also? Why don't you give for operator? Are a man, compiler knows about operators. Compiler knows about the keyboard. The things which are new, new people give token number. New people give token number. So old people, you don't need to give. So I think there is no token number for assignment operator. By seeing this one, compiler got to know that. Lexical analyzer got to know that. See, whenever you say compiler, some people are asking, compiler means what, sir? Compiler means these people. Compiler means these people. Whenever, whenever compiler see assignment operator, compiler means these all people. So everyone knows what is assignment operator. Everyone knows. But everyone don't know user defined variable. Everyone don't know user defined function. But everyone knows what is the C language operator. What is the C language keyword? Everyone knows. Because of they knows, they don't give any key, any, any, any token. So I think this is the token number. Next one. I think after assignment operator is over, why came? Why is saying that, right? Lexical analyzer is asking, lexical analyzer is asking, hello, why can you introduce yourself? Why is saying that I am an identifier? Hello, lexical analyzer, I am the new person, I am an identifier. Immediately will say, if at all you are identifier, you should be there in the symbol table. Let me go and check. I think he verified in the second row is there, he will say, your token number is ID comma two. So from now onwards, if anyone asks you, right, why can you introduce yourself and all, you no need to say, just to show this token number. That is the reason in the college also, in the college also, when you join first day, college people will give, right, identity card, which is the token. Whenever you join the college, first day of the college, they will give the identity card. They will give token number. Next time onwards, if in the college, anyone asks you anything, who are you? Right, why you came inside the campus just to show token number, just to show identity card. In the college also, first day of the college, right, I think introduction will be happened. After introduction is over, they will give token numbers. Because in that college, these all people are new people. Because of they are new people, they after introduction is over, they will give token number, which is nothing but identity card. Everyone having identity card. Everyone having identity card. So, right, I think lexical analyzer is asking the why. Hello, why can you introduce? Immediately, why said that I am identifier. Immediately, lexical analyzer said that if at all you are identifier, you should be there in the symbol table. Let me check. Oh, he is there. So, your token number is ID comma 2. Next one, plus came. Plus, whenever plus is came, lexical analyzer is saying that, hello, plus, you are my best friend because I know you very well. Whenever plus came, lexical analyzer don't have a day. Oh, oh, plus. You are, you are my family. I know you very well. So what is the answer? It is a, it is a addition operator. It is the addition operator. You got to know. Hey, hey, plus. Hey, plus. You are addition operator. I know very well. Yeah, no token number. Next one. Jed is came. Jed is came. Immediately, Jed saying that I am an identifier. Immediately, lexicon manager will say, if you are identifier, just wait. I have to check in the symbol table. In the symbol table. In the symbol table, he is a... Right in the symbol table is available. I think identify. So ID comma three. Some semantic phase only created table. Just shut up. Just shut up. Are you hidden? Just shut up. You just shut up first. Are you getting? You just shut your mouth. Aditya also asked, if you don't know how to shut your mouth, if you don't know, ask Aditya.